Hey guys, Tyler Mahoney here with TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com. I'm standing here with Mickey Wolfenbarger. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that right. So the Lady Bass Anglers Association, the only circuit dedicated strictly to female anglers, That's correct. had their classic here on Truman Lake this year. And they just wrapped up and uh, they practiced. They actually had an event, two-day event, on Thursday, Friday. And I was just going to let her kind of walk through her experience here on the lake here in Truman from the area. So she kind of knows it a little bit. So, Mickey, with that, you want to fill us in about your last few days here on the lake? Sure. Um, my practice went pretty good. I had two keepers every day. Uh -huh. I was throwing square barrel crankbaits uh -huh. and uh, spinner bait. Mm -hmm. Buzz bait thrown in there and doing a little bit of flipping. And, you know, that's how I was catching my fish. Yeah. So I kind of expanded on that. Yeah. Went to different areas to try to, right. you know, pattern the fish. Absolutely. There was a pattern, but it, it was too tough to really pattern the fish. They're yeah. very scattered right now. Um, during the first day of the tournament, I did what I was catching fish doing, mm -hmm. and was, I couldn't pull a keeper. Out. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, it, you know. So, second day, I kind of regrouped. I, I changed my tactics a little bit. I still, I threw a walker plopper mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. um, for me, they weren't hitting a buzz bait anymore. But every walker plopper fish I caught was a keeper. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I caught a couple yesterday, and we had the classic today, uh -huh. so I thought, well, I gotta throw that walker plumper right. all day long and do a little bit of flipping. Yeah. So, that's what I did. I mean, I just chunked that walker plumper yeah. out. Now, it just covered a lot of water. Yeah. Now, you had an interesting little tip earlier that you were telling me about the hooks on the walker plumper. Is uh -huh. that right? So Yeah, I changed them out to a, a, a lot thinner hook, mm -hmm. trouble hook. Extremely sharp, but kind of downsized the weight of it. Uh -huh. um, I don't have any problem with them not getting hooked. Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with them coming off. Mm -hmm. They used to come off. You know, you yes. get a good fish on a whopper plopper and you come up, shake its head. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so they, they still do that. But yeah. You don't have to worry about losing them. Yeah. They're sticky sharp hooks. Very interesting. So, wind was a big factor oh, here the last few oh, days. Yeah. So. Wind. And yeah, mm -hmm. to fish the wind. Yeah. Yeah, well, and I, it affected boat control, I'm it sure. Did. It did. So, you know, like we heard in the weigh in, uh, you know, that wind really probably impacted a lot of folks being able to really get on the fish and stay on the fish because they're moving around a yeah, lot. Yeah, there were a lot of spots I couldn't hit just yeah. because the wind was just crashing yeah. in on them. Yeah. So, you know, you kind of had to match it to yeah. where the wind wasn't so bad. Yeah. Now, I wanted, how long, can you fill me in on your experience tournament fishing, how long you've been fishing just in your lifetime, a little bit more about that background? My dad got me fishing when I was younger, uh -huh. and then I've been doing this for about 30 years. Yeah, wow, wow, that's awesome. It's been fun. So you've probably been here since day one with Lady Bass Anglers. No, actually I haven't. Okay. Um, I didn't go full-time fishing mm -hmm. until I was tired. Okay, gotcha. So how long have you been a part of Lady Bass Anglers then? Uh, I've been a part uh, about five years. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your experience just being part of the organization. Well, the first year I was able to fish the whole Lady Bass. Uh -huh. I actually won Angler of the Year that year. Uh -huh. It was it was an awesome start mm -hmm. for fishing, you know, full time. Right. And uh, you know, it's been it's a great organization. Uh -huh. it, it's a chance for young kids to come up and fish. Sure. It's a chance for the people that have been in, you know, fishing yeah. for years and stuff. Yeah. Or, or someone that's just in local. Uh huh. You know, a, lo a lot of people, you know, we, we gain memberships and stuff from local people right. when we go to their lakes. Right, stuff. right. So, I mean, it's a great organization. Everybody ought to look into it. Well, and you guys, seems like you travel pretty much all over the country. We do. This is actually the closest tournament I've been to. <laughs> yeah. Most of, nice you know, we face. go to Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, uh -huh. and, you know, Georgia. I mean, we, we travel all over. Yeah. Well, and it sounds like just from what I've seen, everyone gets along great. Everyone enjoys new the new boaters, new co-anglers. Yeah. Sounds like everybody gets out and has a great time. Yeah, and it, it's funny because we're really all good friends. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, they have people you know that have been here forever, and then you know welcoming new people in. Yeah. So it you know keeps growing and stuff, but. We're all friends yeah. when we're off the water. Right. <laughs> but it's great competition uh -huh. when we're out there fishing. So, speaking of that, uh, you did really well done on Table Rock here pretty recently. I did. I so, did. I wanted you to kind of fill us in on 
just that tournament, how many boats there were, and where you where you ended up. Yeah, it was a Champion Charger Ultimate Challenge uh -huh. tournament on Day Rock, and, it, and it's for the owners of the Champion uh -huh. boat and the Charger boat. Mm -hmm. There was 174 boats, and it's a team tournament. Yep. So Linda Gessner, who also fishes the LBA, yeah. we teamed up and, and fished it, and, and we caught you know some of our fish on the spinner bait, yep. the jig, and we had to resort to drop shot uh -huh. um, to fill that limit. Could get them shallow. It's you know it's yeah. almost winter here. Feels like it, but they're not even really in their fall pattern. Right. right. They're they're as confused as we are. Right now. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, I was drop shotting from you know anywhere from 20 to 40 feet. Uh huh. Now you ended up pretty high. Yeah, on the came list. Six. Yeah, sixth place out of over 170 boats. You guys were you guys the only female team? Yes. Yeah, that's freaking impressive. Really cool. It was fun. It was yeah. a fun tournament. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and that was here in the last few weeks, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was uh, during, actually during cutoff. Yeah. For this trip. Okay. So I couldn't be here anyway, yeah. pre fishing or anything. So right. Hey. Fished on table rock. Hey, made made good use of the time. Oh, that's yeah. freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah. So we're looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll see you again on Truman here oh, in the so. future. So we'll yep. we'll uh, it, catch it's up. It's an awesome lake. It's just it's uh, just yeah. Fish aren't quite biting yet. Well, and congratulations today. Thank you. On the finish. Thank so you. It we'll, was tough. It was pretty brutal out. Well, I mean, we've been seeing that the last couple of weeks. Right. So, um, but it's just great that everyone was safe out there and yeah. got back and uh, had a good time on the water. Uh, and I think a lot of the ladies really enjoyed the scenery. You know, we have beautiful bluffs around here. Uh -huh. and the, you know the the trees are turning right they're a little bit past their peak but you know when that sun would come out they really brighten the lake up. yeah absolutely yeah. and you just really you don't have out. you don't have all this oh yeah they're all over the place oh yeah and then the pelicans are here too mm -hmm. and you don't have all the docks all over the place right. so it just right. feels a little bit more pristine mm -hmm. than a lot of lakes that folks end up fishing so right. you don't see houses built on the shore right 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 so you know for us i mean we'd recommend anybody if you're watching this uh truman lake should be a destination no, lake for you. Be on fire here yeah soon. yeah very soon and not just for bass no uh the hybrids are biting they're yeah. shallow yeah i mean you can go out there throw a crankbait and catch a lot of fish yeah especially so, windy points yep it yeah. sounded like a lot of gals today thought they had that winning fish oh, yeah. on the line. Yeah. It turned out there was several five pound plus hybrids that were Oh caught. yeah. So yeah. the hybrids are fun to catch. Yeah, heck yeah. They, so. they really are. Well, um, one, I guess one last question. Where do folks go to find Lady Bass Anglers online? Do you know the website off the top of your head? You can, you can Google it, uh -huh. um, but it's Lady Bass Anglers. Association? Association.com. Okay. okay, perfect. Well, we'll be sure this will be up on our YouTube and Facebook, and we'll be driving people your guys' way. Well, but thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you. Uh, thanks a bunch, Mickey, and we'll look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Check out Lady Bass Anglers Association. Thanks for watching.